Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Case Group and in this short presentation we're going to take a quick look at one of the new features in V-Ray 2.0. So I have this simple scene and I have three materials inside and I'm just going to assign some texture to those textures to those materials. I'm going to select bitmap and find my textures. And the thing about those textures, textures is that they are very big, they have a very big resolution and they take up a lot of memory. So it may take several seconds for Max to load them. I'm very quickly going to add a texture for each material. Okay, so I have added my textures and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and select this new option that we have in V-Ray 2.0 which says V-Ray Bitmap to V-Ray HDRI Converter. What this will do, it will turn all my bitmaps into uh, tile TXRs. This way during rendering I can load just small parts of the texture which will save up a lot of RAM. So I'm going to click Convert. And I have some options about the conversion. I can choose the compression method. I can turn the EXR into 16-bit floating point EXRs if I check this checkbox. And I also can decide uh, what the, the size of the tile is going to be. So this size actually determines the smallest part of the map that can be loaded into the memory. So I'm going to select the default one and click OK. Converting these textures will take some time, so I'm going to pause the recording for a couple of seconds. Okay, so V-Ray has converted my textures into open EXR files and uh, if I open the slate material editor, you will see that instead of the bitmap slots, we now have V-Ray HDRIs. So we are now using the V-Ray HDRI texture to load the actual EXR files. And if I go to the folder where my textures are, you will be actually able to see the EXRs that V-Ray created. And if I select them and click properties, you see that altogether they're around 800 megabytes. Uh, the cool thing about this new feature, however, is that V-Ray is not going to add those 800 megabytes into the memory during rendering. Instead, when I hit render, V-Ray will just load the parts of the map that are necessary for the rendering, and um, it will it will load those parts buckets for bucket for bucket, and this way you will save a lot of memory. And this feature is pretty useful, especially when you have very complex scenes with many many textures and you don't have that much RAM uh, this option can be very very useful to you so as you can see this uh, image was rendered very very quickly and in the end this is the image we get